Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the second semi-final between Johannesburg and Eastern Cape. Game will be played at the Centurion, which is known for amazing and amazing batting conditions, small boundaries and low, high altitude rather, which would mean the ball travels to the boundary a lot, lot faster, especially in the air. So that is a little bit about the ground and what you can expect in that measure. Now, as far as the team is concerned, I'll get to that. But before that, you ensure that you hit the like button on this video for some good luck and download the MyFab11 app because you're getting an amazing free entry contest there. Join with four teams and join these amazing mini GLs because half of the times they don't fill up. So you'll get to get make some good advantage out of that. Now let's try to create our base team for this game. First up we start with the keeping section and the most convincing choice for me from here is Matthew Wade for the kind of skill that he possesses. Adam Rossington, good choice if you are happy to take a chance but I don't know how it easy will be for Adam Rossington with Jiral Kurdzi and Mahesh Tikshan in front of him even though he's had a good outing against them once before I don't believe it's gonna come off every time from the batting section Aiden Makram Faf 2 plus C Riza Hendricks is a 50-50 choice Tristan Stubbs on this ground and good batting conditions he should be able to make here. Let's come back to the section after looking at the other best options that we have in the other sections. Now spin is not the best option on this ground. So for now Marco Janssen, Romario Shepard will be my key choices from this section. Both will give you big hitting with the bat and good bowling and at many points they both also bowl at the death. Marco Janssen though is known more for his movement up front so if you feel like the pitch is fresh and there's the slightest of movement even becomes a good Grand League captaincy or vice captaincy choice. In the bowling section Gerald Kuadzi will be a key key option and you'll have to pick him. Then when you look at your other options Mahesh Tikshana he will be able to tackle that top order of uh, Eastern Cape and again he is a good Grand League captaincy, vice captaincy choice. Sisanna Magala for his death bowling and at times also bowls well in the power play. Now few points to keep in mind, Johannesburg have generally come out with 5 main bowlers. This 6th bowler has been Donovan Ferreira and he is going to be my punt pick for this game because I feel on such a ground where big hitting is encouraged and his off spin can be of decent use even though I don't believe it will be of much use as EAC don't have too many left handers it's only that one man in the middle Jordan Herman and they already have one off spinner Johannesburg in Mahesh Tikshana so not for his bowling but more for his batting Donovan Ferreira and now my last slot if you look at this team till now we have two good bowling options from EAC three from Johannesburg we also have three good batting options from EAC while we have four good batting options from Johannesburg. So what I feel we are missing right now is one all-rounder or bowler from EAC which I am not convinced should be John John Smarts on this ground because he's not someone who has good tempo with the bat. He's someone who takes his time and left arm spin is what is driving to his advantage because Johannesburg's one weakness is left arm spin. So either you take John John Smuts if you're convinced that he'll have a good role with the ball because if you need points from him, 70% of those points have to come from the ball. While if ESC bowl second, then I have no doubt I'll pick Roloff van der Mova because bowling second against Johannesburg and being a left arm spinner means you're in good state. But more than the conditions, this is a pick based on the matchups and the opposition. I'll go for John John Smuts in the last slot. Now captaincy and vice captaincy choices, again both these teams like I mentioned are filled with right hand batters and there is none better than Aiden Markram. I am taking him purely for good good batting value on a good batting ground and I feel like if he plays off Thikshana the other threats are of not much challenge to him. So he is my first captaincy choice. While you have Faf as a good vice captaincy choice, I am more tempted here to go towards Mahesh Tikshana. I think that apart from Aiden, around him there are batters who play shot after shot and will not find it easy to survive against Mahesh. Hence he is my vice captain. This is what my team looks like for now. In case you are very lazy and you like to get the team directly, I am sharing this team now in the guru section. 
you simply clear, click on create team and copy teams of your favorite gurus you will get the team here when you scroll down and you will be able to copy the team directly by just clicking on the copy team button also ensure that you click the follow button so that you will be able to get access to all my teams now let's look at the exchange 22 picks for this specific game and like I mentioned it's a good batting track so that's where the focus should be for you my first pick from here is Matthew Wade at 32 even if he is taking one catch as keeper and scoring 25 plus runs that is profitable enough for me so if you feel like that will happen for him he is a good first choice apart from that when you look at this section I think Romario Shepard is a good choice at 32 again one wicket 20 odd runs and the job is done Mahesh Tikshana if he is bowling second 100% will be a buy candidate Donovan Ferreira if batting first then when we look at the ESC choices, my first choice here is going to be Aiden Markram. I believe that he has the potential to bat really well on such a track and he should get two odd overs here and there. So he is a good choice first up to start. Apart from that, you have Tristan Stubbs who I'll take if he is batting first. So that is a roundup as far as the exchange 22 picks and my fantasy team for this game is concerned. For those of you who play on Rario, I'd also show you what my Rario picks for this specific game are. So I'm obviously believing a lot that Matthew Wade should be able to deliver the goods here today. So he will be a good choice along with Marco and Romario Shepard. So this is my first combination where I'm trying to match it up with three guys who contribute in two departments. Both of them with bat and ball and him with bat and gloves. Then in my second combination here, I've tried to go with an EAC sort of combination where two EAC batters dominate and Johannesburg are going to be bowling first. So in this combination, I'm assuming EAC bat first and Johannesburg bowl first uh, and Johannesburg bowl first. And then this is the last combination. Here I'm assuming that Johannesburg bat first, EAC uh, lose some early wickets via Mahesh Tikshana and then Tristan Stubbs comes good in the chase. So yes, these are three uh, GL scenarios and thoughts in my mind as far as the Rario picks for this specific game are concerned. In case you have not downloaded Rario already or rather if you haven't signed up on Rario already, you will get a free $20 only by signing up. All you need to do, again I am putting the link for this in the description, you get a free $20. All you need to do is click on the link, sign up. After you sign up, ensure that you verify your mobile number and once you verify your mobile number and go to the next step, you will immediately see $20 Rario credited into your account. So I hope that all of you have a great game. Enjoy the second semi-final and all the good luck to all of you.